The AI war has officially begun. And this time, it's not about chatbots or search engines. It's about humanoid robots. Specifically, Clone Robotics has just thrown down the gauntlet, taking direct aim at Tesla and its Optimus bot. And trust me, they didn't hold back. What's up, guys? Alfie here with another surprising update from the world of AI and robotics. This story is far from over, and AI Nexus will cover every step of the way. It all started with a bold claim from Elon Musk. He took to X to hype up Tesla's next-generation Optimus bot, particularly its advanced robotic hand. Musk described it as so sophisticated that it makes a Fabergé egg look simple. That's a huge statement, considering Fabergé eggs are some of the most intricate and delicate creations ever made. But then came Clone Robotics, and let's just say, they weren't impressed. Clone Robotics wasted no time clapping back at Musk's claims, taking to X with a post of their own. They claimed their robotic hand, the Hand of Clone, matches Tesla's in dexterity, but is lighter, stronger, cheaper, and softer. And they weren't just throwing words around, they had receipts. Clone can also build a hand in a day before manufacturing scale, said Clone's co-founder Danush Radhakrishnan, before adding a particularly sharp jab. And we spent 1,000 times less to create an entirely new class of machine. That's a direct shot at Tesla's expensive and highly engineered approach, suggesting that Clone is doing more with far less. So now we have a direct face-off between Tesla's Optimus hand and Clone's robotic hand. But which one is truly better? Let's break it all down. Both Tesla and Clone Robotics are tackling the same problem. Creating a robotic hand that mimics human dexterity as closely as possible. This isn't just about picking up objects. It's about fine motor skills, grip strength, flexibility, and even the ability to handle delicate objects without crushing them. Tesla's approach with Optimus relies on actuators within the forearm, simulating human tendons to create lifelike movements. The newest iteration, dubbed Generation 3, has doubled its dexterity, increasing from 11 degrees of freedom to 22 in the fingers, plus an additional 3 in the wrist bringing it to a total of 25 DOF. Clone, on the other hand, claims its robotic hand has 27 DOF, matching the complexity of an actual human hand. But the real kicker is the difference in technology. Instead of using motors like Tesla, Clone's robotic hand operates through a system of hydraulic-powered artificial muscles and force valves. This, they claim, gives their robot hands a more natural movement and a level of strength that traditional actuators can't match. In other words, Tesla is trying to replicate human motion through mechanical engineering, while Clone is mimicking biology itself. It's synthetic muscles versus electric motors, and both have their strengths. Tesla recently showcased the next-gen Optimus hand in action, where it caught a tennis ball with real-time responsiveness. This was an impressive display of dexterity and speed, proving that Tesla is making serious progress in robotic hand control. But Clone isn't just showing off numbers. They've got real-world applications, too. Their robotic hands are soft and flexible, meaning they're not just good for industrial work, but could also be used for more delicate tasks like giving massages or even playing musical instruments. Clone Robotics didn't come out of nowhere. In fact, their journey towards synthetic human-like robots has been in the works for nearly a decade. It all started back in 2019, when Clone's co-founder, Mateusz Kozlik, uploaded a demo of an early robotic arm to YouTube. He had built it in his garage, modeling it after a human arm he had studied in an anatomy lab. Instead of using traditional motors, he relied on water pressure and electro valves, making it look and move more like an actual human limb. Over the years, Clone Robotics continued refining their design. By 2021, they had developed an advanced robotic hand with McKibben-type artificial muscles that could function even when punctured. Their approach proved that synthetic muscles could provide durability and resilience that standard actuators lacked. Fast forward to today, and Clone has expanded beyond just a robotic hand. They've created an entire upper body known as Torso 2, featuring 910 synthetic muscle fibers animating 164 degrees of freedom. Their goal? To 
to eventually build full-body humanoid robots that are indistinguishable from living people. Tesla and Clone may be competing on robotic hands, but their overall missions are slightly different. Tesla's Optimus Bot is designed to be a general-purpose robot for industrial and household applications. Musk envisions a future where Optimus Bots handle manufacturing, cleaning, and even caregiving tasks. With Tesla's mass production capabilities, the goal is to make these robots widely available at an affordable price, between $20,000 and $30,000 per unit. Clone, however, has a more ambitious long-term goal, creating synthetic humans. Their vision extends beyond just manual labor robots. They want their creations to be capable of independent operation, with artificial intelligence that allows them to function seamlessly in complex environments. One of the biggest differences between the two is how they plan to scale. Clone Robotics has announced plans to release 279 of its alpha androids in 2025, positioning them as a limited edition luxury product, comparable to a high-end supercar. But over time, they aim to drastically reduce costs to make their humanoids widely accessible. Meanwhile, Tesla is taking a more aggressive approach to scaling production. Musk has said he envisions producing tens of thousands of Optimus robots in the near future, with the long-term goal of shipping millions of units annually. The Tesla vs. Clone Robotics showdown is just the beginning. Humanoid robots are no longer just a sci-fi fantasy. They're here, and they're improving at an exponential rate. The real question is, what approach will win out in the long run? Will Tesla's mass market strategy make Optimus the dominant humanoid on the planet? Or will clones focus on synthetic muscles and human-like design give them the edge? The competition isn't just about the best hardware. AI integration will play a huge role in determining which humanoid robot ultimately wins the race. Tesla has the advantage of its advanced neural networks and Dojo supercomputer, which can process immense amounts of real-world data to improve Optimus's capabilities. Meanwhile, Clone is betting on its approach to biologically inspired robotics, pushing the boundaries of what synthetic muscles and AI-driven control systems can achieve. There's also the question of public perception. Tesla has the advantage of brand recognition, but Clone's vision of hyper-realistic humanoids could spark both excitement and controversy. Some people will welcome lifelike androids, while others might see them as unsettling. Public acceptance will be a major factor in how quickly these robots integrate into society. One thing is certain. This rivalry is going to push humanoid robotics to the next level. And as both companies continue developing their technology, we can expect to see even more breakthroughs in dexterity, AI control, and real-world applications. So now, we turn the question over to you. Who do you think is winning the humanoid robot war? Is Musk right to hype up Optimus, or does Clone Robotics have the superior approach? Drop your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned, because AI Nexus will be covering every step of the way. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.